Speaker McCarthy is out of the country uh, currently, and uh, I have no idea when he's coming back, but he's out of the country, so that clearly has pushed uh, this meeting a little further down, a couple of days. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure we got we had all four of them here. Okay, so now it's Kevin McCarthy's fault. That was White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre earlier this week claiming that Speaker Kevin McCarthy's trip to Israel is the reason that the debt ceiling negotiations have been delayed. President Biden is expected to meet with McCarthy and Senate leadership next week. He has planned that for May 9th. The Wall Street Journal is now reporting that White House officials and lawmakers are privately considering a short-term increase in the borrowing limit that would buy them time to find a compromise, and they say they want that limit to be raised uh, with no strings attached. Joining me right now is Tennessee Congressman, member of the House Financial Services Committee, David Kustoff. Congressman, uh, you and your colleagues have already passed uh, the bill to limit spending. Uh, and uh, and raise the debt ceiling, although it doesn't seem that your Democrat colleagues are on board. No, Maria, thank you. Good morning. Yeah, you know, the, the only action right now is in the House of Representatives. F from the beginning, I think we've all said in the House, at least the Republicans, that we want to be smart and responsible about lifting the, the debt ceiling. But it needed to be coupled, it has to be coupled, with the necessary spending cuts to grow this economy, to reduce inflation, and it, and address the nation's debt. Uh, we all know that we're over $31 trillion in debt. And I, I've got to tell you, just a few days ago when I was speaking to one of my local Rotary clubs, I told them, I, we, we talked about the debt ceiling. It's on a lot of people's minds here in, in West Tennessee, as I think it is people all around the country. I said, you know, this is like your personal credit card. And if you've charged your personal credit card up to its limit, if it's $10,000 or whatever, you can call the bank or the credit card company, ask them to lift, uh, lift your limit, but you're foolish if you don't look at your spending. Everybody in that room nodded their head. So I think we all get it. What Speaker McCarthy, and I give him a lot of credit because he crafted a bill that, that does exactly that, lifts the limit for about a year, is smart, is, is responsible, but at the same yeah. time grows our economy. It's the only game in town. And I, I listened to what the press secretary said. You, you know, you think about it, Maria, Speaker McCarthy and President Biden met, I think on February 1st, about three months ago, about the debt ceiling. Speaker McCarthy has asked, I don't know how many times, for Biden to meet with them to talk about this important issue, and Biden has shunned them. So this is now, this is on President Biden, this is on Schumer. Yeah. And we'll see what what where they want to go with it. Right now, the only so how game do you think this plays out? You, you, but how do you, but Congressman, how do you think this is going to play out? You've spoken with your colleagues on the Democrat side. They want a clean uh, budget uh, raise. They want a, a clean debt ceiling raise, rather, and they don't want any strings attached. Uh, now we know that June first is the date that uh, the country will run out of money. So how, how do you think this plays out? What's your gut? Well, as we know in the Senate, nothing moves without 60 votes. And if Chuck Schumer today or tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday is scheduled to vote on a clean debt limit with uh, no spending cuts attached, it wouldn't reach 60 votes. Uh, so it's not there. That move, that play on behalf of uh, Schumer and the Democrats, it's not viable. So he's got to come towards what House Republicans and Speaker McCarthy has proposed. You know, when Joe Biden ran for office, he talked about being a deal maker and uh, promoting bipartisanship and he can work deals. Uh, this is his time. I mean, he's going to have everybody in his office on Tuesday, everybody who can make those decisions on behalf of the House and the Senate in terms of what's voted on. Uh, he needs to move Schumer to adopt something similar to what House Republicans or, or what House Republicans have passed so that we can avert a potential crisis and we can get on with the nation's business. Yeah. The Senate Budget Committee is holding a hearing uh, attacking the GOP's debt bill. This happened yesterday, calling it the Default on America Act. Here's Chuck Schumer. Watch. MAGA Republicans have claimed they are averting a catastrophe by setting up this rotten choice. Do not believe it. They are causing one. Many of them want one. 
Yeah, obviously, uh, Chuck Schumer is the one who came up with that name. It's the Default on America Act, Congressman. Yeah. And that was Chairman you Sheldon. Know, I talked with some of my Senate colleagues, uh, and they tell me that Schumer really believed that there was no way that Speaker McCarthy and House Republicans could pass what we passed out of the House of Representatives a week or so ago. Uh, he was banking on the fact that we would fail. In fact, we passed what we passed. It's up to him now. Uh, he is yeah. the leader of the United States Senate. He he ought to he ought to just put the, the House Republican bill on the floor. Let people let people vote on it. Let's see where the right. where the cards are. Here, here's what we know. We, we know that we need to do something by June the first. House Republicans have done something. President Biden and, and Chuck Schumer need to move the ball. Okay. Congressman, thank you so much. Congressman David Kustoff joining us this morning. We'll be watching all of the developments, sir. Thank you.